In this video, we are going to introduce the course of calculus of several variables. For this course, we need some basics to be covered. So, this lecture, we will discuss about the basics of this course. So, the very first thing that we need in this course is you must be knowing what is a function which is a real valued function and its domain instead of taking the real numbers now I'm going to take the domain to be either R2 or R3 and so on in general R. So I will now give an example of a function which is from R2 to R. So what is this function now? This function is a function with domain as R2 and what is the codomain? Real means it's a real value. So whenever this is R, we call that function to be a real valued function. So now we know that elements of R2 are pairs x comma y. So I'm going to apply the function on the pair x comma y and I in return I will get a real number. So this is a function with domain R2 and which is a real valued function. Right. So I take I will take f of x y is equal to suppose I take x square plus y square. Now this is a function which is giving the output as a real number. So if I ask what is f of 1 comma 3, so f of 1 comma 3 is x is 1 and y is 3. So this will be give, giving me 1 square plus 3 square which is 10. So this is a real number, right? So this is a function which is what? Which is of this type, right? Let me take one function f from say r3 to r, okay? Means uh, f of x, y, z. Now r3 has three coordinates. So it is x, y, z is equal to suppose I take x square plus 2y plus z. So if I ask what is the answer of f1 comma 1 comma 1, then it you will be giving me the answer 1 square plus 2 into 1 plus 1. You see this is again a real number say some 4. You can even take, you take any point, take 1, 0, minus 1. Still you can evaluate it as 1 square plus 2 into 0 plus minus of 1 which is equal to 0. So these are types of functions. So f is going from R2 to R or f is going from R3 to R. We will study such type of functions in this type of course. Okay.